Yes, I have. Sully is simply adorable out here. We've got Nancy here from the Michigan Humane Society to kind of tell us Sully's story. And he's just one of the animals that you guys have helped over the years here and with the benefits of things like this march. Yeah, this summer the Michigan Humane Society rescue team came to the aid of a stray puppy who had a deeply embedded band in his leg, so bad that the, the paw was just dangling, and um, they knew he needed immediate assistance. We don't know if it was intentional cruelty, but the MHS veterinary team determined they needed to amputate the leg in order to have Sully live a happy and healthy life. And after weeks of recovery in a foster home, he went up for adoption on the website, and a couple who had lost their 15 year old dog recently Sully, Sully. saw him online. And wow. And that, and this is Kyle and Shannon here. You guys decided to take Sully in. You are Sully's parents. So tell us how Sully's been. He it looks so active and wonderful, even though he is missing a leg. You can hardly tell. No, absolutely. Yeah. Um, he'll, he runs around a lot. He, I don't think he knows that he doesn't have uh, a fourth leg. Yeah. I mean, he, he plays fetch. We can take him for walks almost every day. Um, he's, he's extremely active. And he's a lot of fun to have, yeah, too. He's, he's the, sweetest, the sweetest boy. He's so sweet. He is. He really is adorable. So is it, it's a challenge for you guys when you were thinking, maybe I'm going to adopt a dog that may have some physical disabilities. Was that an issue for you? Um, we were just wondering if he would have any challenges going forward, if he would have any health issues. But um, uh, for us, that wasn't a question. We, just want, we knew he needed a home. And we had just recently put our dog down, who was 15, and oh, wow. he was really special. She was really special to us. So uh, we just wanted to ha to give him a home, and we fell in love with him inst yeah. er, instantly. So um, a sweet face and a sweet personality. Yeah. And you guys love the Michigan Humane Society. You love taking part in the Mega March. Why are you guys here today? This is just our second uh, one. We just wanted to um, like help bring awareness to uh, for disabled do animals and. And just animals yeah. in, in general. Yeah. yeah, animals that need homes. And Sully found a wonderful home, which we're so glad. He's very interested in the other dogs. There's some that are arriving. And so he's not as interested in the cameras right now, but he's been so sweet and very active since he's got here. If you'd like to take part in the Mega March for Animals, of course, you can come out here. There's still plenty of time. We're at Kensington Metro Park this morning. Also at Stony Creek Park, there's two happening. Registration starts at 9, the walk starts at 10. So plenty of time to come and be a part of this special event, a huge event for the Michigan Humane Society. We hope to see you out here. We do have two teams for WXYZ that will be at each event. So again, it's important for our station and we hope you take part. Live in Milford, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.